I got a whole house. I grew up with a whole bunch of sisters. It's been a big, let me quickly move on now and move on. It's been a big week for tech. We've had a potentially game changing product released from Sony. Don't you get me into trouble from Sony that could make actually the world of virtual reality more accessible. Samsung has had a rotten few days, hasn't it? And as we heard earlier in the program, we're going to be seeing billions going up in flames as well over this exploding Galaxy Note 7 phone. Yep, Rory, he's here, our tech guru, Rory Kathleen Jones. Hey, Rory, happy Friday, good to see you. Good to see Don't you. Don't mean getting uh, out of this yeah, hole quickly, yeah, quickly, quickly. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed, always amazed, Darren, <laughs> always amazed. She's a very patient woman. She is. <laughs> uh, Rory said to me before we came to air, he said, we're going to talk about Samsung. I said, yeah, well, of course we're going to talk about Samsung. He said, mention washing machines. That's all I'm going to mention. Take it away. Well... Obviously, this is a huge blow to its mobile phone division, but Samsung makes an awful lot more than mobile phones. Mobile phones is this huge profit generator, but it's very proud of its consumer devices. Things like it's got a, uh, a new washing machine where you can add in stuff at, at, at a late stage. Uh, uh, my wife said to me the other add day... Add in? Sorry, you mean clothes? It's, 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 yeah, it's, it's, oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a little, 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 once it's start, got a right? little drawer that you can add stuff <gasps> in. And uh, my wife said to me the other day, oh, we could get... Uh, I, I said to her, we'd forgotten to put something in. We could get one of those. And she said, yeah, but it might catch fire. Uh, uh, and uh, I think that sort of is a bit of a story about how the, the wider <laughs> contagion can mm. take place. The other thing that we've had over recent weeks is people getting on aircraft, sitting down, buckling their seatbelts, and the first thing the captain says is, if you've got a Samsung phone, and I think quite often the evidence is they don't even say a Samsung Note 7, turn mm. it off now. Just... And that just causes damage to the brand. I've seen one major UK mobile operator this week sending out a poll to its customers saying, asking them how they feel about Samsung products. So wow. uh, yeah. I, th I think that is the issue they've got to deal with. I'm sure they will deal with it. It's, it's a question of how long mem memories are. Uh, but, about this sort of issue. But the quirky, before we move on, mm. um, but the, the, the sort of quirky thing about this is uh, Steve Evans were talking to uh, a little earlier, saying that, you know, look, it, it, obviously they're going to lose the sales of the 7, the Note 7, if that's gone. Maybe people won't buy other Samsung products, but maybe they'll buy Apple phones instead for now. But who makes the chips for those Apple yeah, phones? Samsung it, will still win. Definitely. They're, they're, they're a huge conglomerate. They make mm. all sorts of stuff. They make chips for Apple a phones. A lot of chips, though, yeah. don't they? Yeah. Uh, but... Let's not underestimate. No, how, no. In, in the catalogue of corporate uh, crises, corporate recalls, this is a pretty big one. Thank mm. you. Uh, let's talk about Sony yeah, because it it's... Uh, <laughs> he's, we've, Go got on, on. we've got a prop. We've got a prop. It's a, it's a really good way of doing that. Uh, <laughs> this, this, uh, uh, this is what you like to get up to in your, in yeah. your spare time. Yeah. Uh, this is virtual reality, and Sony has very uh, much Sony joined this good. race with this uh, PlayStation VR headset. I know it's kind of cool, I suppose, but are people going to buy it? Well, this is the big moment for virtual reality. Don't forget, for the last two years, we've seen an enormous amount of hype, a lot of money going into it, a mm. lot of projections about what the industry might actually sure, earn. Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, we've got the first really big global player getting involved. Don't forget, Sony's got uh, millions of... Uh, PlayStation 4 users around the world. You need a PlayStation 4 to get this. It's got a ready-made so, oh, audience. Oh, you already need one of those, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you, you, it's got a ready-made audience. And yeah, we will now find out what the appetite for it is. My slight I, I think it's, it's fantastic. It's a very immersive experience. Doesn't I, work, I, was, I, was, I was underwater with sharks attacking me the other day, which is fun. My question is that the first audience is core gamers, the people who are mad yeah. about gaming. The trouble is, in a funny kind of way, those people are quite conservative. They like the way the games yeah. experience works now. They like playing online. Uh, when other, quotes gimmicks have come in, you think of the Xbox Kinect, which was a really amazing gadget. Mm. Uh, Sony's got something similar, like a camera which uh, enabled you to motion control games. Mm. A lot of the core gamers were a Didn't bit like sniffy that. about that. Huh. Yeah. So the, the question is how quickly they can get this beyond the core gamers to the mass audience. There, is, there are lots of industrial applications for this. Uh, beyond uh, beyond gaming, you know, and, and people using it in all sorts of contexts. Uh, I've met sort of psychiatrists using uh, virtual reality to cure people of phobias. So huh. lots of fascinating uses for it, but still a bit unproven. Yeah, no one really knows, do they, what sort of game or experience is, is going to crack or drive this market, and well, that seems to be the Well, that's the problem. what's interesting. Uh, experts say, I was talking to a games expert yet, yet, yesterday, say one of the problems is uh, at the start they're taking existing games and kind of modifying them for VR and what you need is to build them for virtual reality which is a completely different mm. medium uh, from mm. the ground up 
uh, because you know this ability to w uh, look around, have a whole world around you, uh, is very different from looking straight ahead at a screen, which is a sort of traditional gameplay. We don't have a lot of time, but you and I, on one of my other programs yesterday, we were talking about Microsoft's product. Yeah. Which is, just briefly explain that, but that, there's that's another, got there, real there, world application. Yeah, there's virtual reality, <laughs> and then there's something called, which some people call augmented reality. Microsoft calls it uh, mixed reality. It's got a headset called the HoloLens, which imposes virtual objects on a real world. You see the real world, yep. and you see virtual objects on it. And it has got a very different approach to that. It's going for business customers in the enterprise world. Yeah. It's very expensive. It's only it's just testing it in the enterprise world before it attempts even to talk to consumers. Okay. Well, listen. Always a pleasure. Have a great weekend. Can we keep that? Can we no, hang you can't. No, Sorry. Come on. You <laughs> might break it. I know what you like. He almost did in the green. Have a great weekend, Roy. <laughs> Cheers.